Hey everybody, welcome back to Video Game Esoteric and a continuing series on the Mr. FPGA DE10 Nano Project. And this is December news. This is all the fun stuff that's happening for Mr. in December. A lot of it is preview, but since we're at the end of the year, we're going to be talking a lot about what's going to be coming up in 2022, and I can't believe it's almost here already. But before we get too far involved, do me a huge favor, go down below, hit like, subscribe, ring that notification bell, definitely helps us out. And if you feel so inclined and want to support the channel, we have a Patreon link down below in the description as well. But it's been a huge month for Hotego. He's announced a lot of different things that he is working on. And of course, there are no timelines for this. But the first thing he teased was Capcom CPS-3. And it's going to be absolutely incredible to have the CPS-3 on Mr. for two reasons. One, there are a lot of good fighting games on the platform. Two, the arcade hardware is absolutely, ridiculously, insanely delicate. If you even touch it so the wrong way, it will break on you. The CPU encryption, the cart that goes into it, if you are not delicate with that, it's just going to kill itself. It'll suicide right on you, and that is terrible. The second thing is you can get multi-setups for the CPS-3, but they are incredibly expensive. We're talking like $1,000 for a good setup, and there's only six games on the platform. So having CPS-3 potentially coming to Mr. Hotego, taking a look at it, is epic. He's done a great job with the CPS-1, he did an amazing job with the CPS-2, and the fact that we can have the CPS-3 very shortly on a Mr. will be incredible as well. And I would expect him to do an amazing job again, because all of the cores he has put out have been absolutely spectacular. And I'm really excited to see what Mr. might look like in 16x9, because in Street Fighter 3 Second Impact, this game looks incredible in 16x9. It's the only game out of the three that Capcom decided to do in widescreen. And I think that's really unfortunate, because it looks absolutely incredible in that widescreen format. But Hoteko teased some other things too. He showed a box of goodies that he was working on. And if you don't know what that red board is up top, you will know about it very shortly. Because one, I'm going to talk about it here. And two, spoiler alert, I'm going to do an entire season on the hardware and all the games because I own it and I've got a big stack of games. But it is the IGS PGM. This is a Taiwanese arcade board that is very similar to what the Neo Geo was, except it is different and has different games. It still uses that Motorola 68000 CPU, so I'm assuming it'll probably be relatively, I don't want to say quick, but I'm sure a lot can be borrowed to make this run because it is very similar to the Neo Geo, except the cartridges are even bigger. But there are so many incredible games on the PGM. This is one of the cores that I've been hoping for. I've even talked about it in the discords because not many people know about the PGM, but it is home to a lot of incredible cave shmups. This is some of the hardware that cave used before they started using their own hardware. Katsui here is an absolutely insane bullet hell game. You saw the original cartridge that I own. Well, it's a conversion. They all are, but it's original air quotes. And I love it, but there's so many other good games on the PGM, like Martial Masters. This game looks as good as anything SNK or Capcom ever put out, but chances are you've probably never heard of this whatsoever. But trust me, it is a fun game, and I just can't wait to get PGM on the Mr. because there's so many great arcade systems that some people don't know about or a lot of people don't know about, and getting them on a Mr. is going to be incredible because while PGM isn't expensive to buy, it's relatively thin in inventory on Online and finding some of the rare cartridges will set you back three to four hundred dollars. So being able to enjoy it on something like Mister will be incredible because there's awesome beat 'em ups as well. The Gladiator is one of my favorites, not just on PGM, but of the 90s. And this hardware looks spectacular, and I think it's going to look even better when it's on Mister. It's going to look absolutely great and i am capturing this from original hardware i have cleaned the image up because that's what i do but there's so much fun to be had here something like demon front on mister this is probably going to be the first time a lot of people have played this game and it also has an amazing soundtrack so listen for 30 seconds and imagine what this is going to sound like coming out of your mister enjoy I just can't wait for the PGM to be on Mr. And like I said, since it is so similar to Neo Geo and it does share a processor with a lot of different hardware, 
Hopefully some of that code base can be brought in and make it work easier. But Hotego, take your time. I love everything you're doing and there's a link to his Twitter down below. But if you missed my video last Wednesday on the PlayStation 1 Alpha Core, this is footage from my direct captures from my mister when I set that up. And PlayStation 1 is just progressing week by week and it's getting to the point where I'm getting super excited about this. Now of course it is not done and there isn't really any ETA in what it's going to be done, but as opposed to watching the makers capture footage on YouTube and talking about it, we're able to now just check it out on our own. And that is incredible. I did not think that this would be happening this soon. I know there was always talk about PlayStation 1 on Mr. and that it could be possible. And then we started getting these trickles of information out. And the time between those trickles of information to the point where I could pop this core on my Mr. and play around with it was very, very quick. So this is just awesome. Playing Crash Bandicoot on Mr. with a controller in my hand, capturing on my computer was spectacular and it is running really really well and i'm super excited about this core for two reasons one the playstation one library is immense and there's going to be so much good stuff to play that you probably never checked out before two the PlayStation 1 hardware is quite delicate. Not anything on the motherboard, the chips are usually fine, but the lasers love to break. My PlayStation 1 right now only plays if you turn it upside down, and I can guarantee you, you're not going to have to turn the Mr. upside down to enjoy PlayStation 1 when it's available. I'm not giving anybody any advice or tips or tricks on how to get this running. If you're really interested in it, you'll be able to find out how to do it. Just don't expect the most out of it because it is still in alpha. What's here is incredible, but don't be upset if you're favorite game doesn't work because we're still in the very early stages of PlayStation 1, but those early stages and days are shaping up to be absolutely incredible. And speaking of incredible, we're getting more previews for the Sega Saturn Core as well. Now, I am not playing these. These are SRG 320's captures, and I've asked him previously for permission to use them, and he was gracious enough to say yes. I will leave a link to his channel down below as well. But Saturn is getting worked on as well, and it's kind of interesting. I feel like it's going to be a race to see which one is released to the public first. I'm not saying they should race, just in my head we've got two amazing 32-bit 3D consoles, one from Sega and one from Sony, and they are both making great progress on Mr. I'm probably a little bit more excited about the PlayStation 1 than the Sega Saturn, and that's not because I don't love the Saturn. I absolutely do, but my Saturn's in perfect working order, and my PlayStation 1, no matter how many lasers I throw at it, just struggles to work. But this will be a lot of fun, because for a lot of people, Saturn might be a little bit of a block in their library versus PlayStation 1 having grown up with it. But I know we talked about a lot about 3D consoles, but back to Hotego again, he's also previewed the fact that he's working on a Neo Geo Pocket Core. And that is a handheld that probably 95% of the people watching this video have never played before. I do have one, it's in my desk drawer in front of me as I record this, and I absolutely love it. But I get that this is some niche stuff that people have probably never encountered. But Hotego is going to bring another console, or in this instance a handheld, to the mister. Again, there is absolutely no ETA. He's just announced he's working on it, and that is absolutely spectacular because there's a lot of good games on the Neo Geo Pocket Color. We're taking a look at the portable version of Last Blade here, and it is a ton of fun. And then this is not only great from a gameplay perspective, it's also great from a preservation standard because being able to play these games on your TV from Mr. is going to be a ton of fun because a lot of the Neo Geo Pocket games and Pocket Color games can be quite expensive. Metal Slug here, it's it's not a cheap game to buy, especially if you want it in its original packaging, because if you don't realize in North America, when the Neo Geo Pocket Color was doing poorly, they sold it in a blister pack with four cartridges with no manuals and no cases as a deal. So you're going to see a lot of loose carts for this game, and those are still going to be expensive. So playing it on Mr. is going to be spectacular, because I don't just love Mr. from a I get to play game standpoint. I love it from being the sort of encyclopedia of retro gaming. It allows you to check so many things out in one place in a very small footprint. Now, of course, you can do that with software emulation as well, and that's obviously how I'm capturing this for the Mr. News episode, but it's going to be so much fun when we're actually able to do that because the Neo Geo Pocket Color has what I would consider the best portable golf game ever made and that is going to be ladies and gentlemen neo turf masters this game is just so much fun and i can't wait to play it on my television because honestly i've only ever played it on my handheld 
I did modify the screen, but this looks even better than that. So it's going to be a lot of fun when the Neo Geo Pocket Neo Geo Pocket Color Core is potentially done. I have no idea when that's going to be, but the whole point of this video is that Mist is shaping up to have an amazing 2022. No real updates on the Sega Saturn Core right now, but you got the Saturn coming, you got PlayStation 1 coming, you have Neo Geo Pocket Color coming, CPS 3, PGM, and we just recently got Shadow Masks. I will do a video talking about this in the future because it is a quite, not complex, but interesting sort of topic. But CRTs back in the day had different masks where the electron guns shot the beams through and they all had a slightly different look. And that is a new filtering system that you will get if you update your mister. I'll talk about it more in the future. But that's it. That's what's going on right now. But the incredible thing is... Mr. has grown so much in 2021, and the next time you see a Mr. News video, it's going to be 2022. I think I'm going to put this up on December 31st, and if I do, everyone have a great New Year's Eve. Be safe. Have some drinks if you drink, but don't have too much. And I hope that 2022 is a hell of a lot better than 2021. I said that in 2020 going into 2021, and that wasn't the case. So hopefully this year I am right. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Like and subscribe. I'll be back next week with more videos in the new year. Short of that, Mr. in 2022 is looking good. See you next time. Bye-bye.